watchers today I will show you how to compile and run your C code on an Atmel chip now this can be done using two ways one without method uh, one without Xcode and one with Xcode now Xcode is an amazing IDE and I'm gonna be using that for the first part of this tutorial it is a lot less messier than the second part so for Xcode first you open Xcode but before this you would require this XAVR template the download link is in the description um, this basically helps you helps the helps to build the make file beforehand. So once you download the Xavier template, you need to set it up. So open terminal and uh, navigate to your downloaded folder. It's called Xavier Master. I'm sorry. Oh, we're already in that folder. So you just write python setup.py This sets up all the files in, in the certain locations with an Xcode Now open Xcode, I'm using version 5.1.1 and create a new project So you'll have this new section under OS 10 called XAVR Click next um, Choose any project name you'd like um, now ch select your chip's name, um, mine is at, at mega 16 I'd be using that and my programmer is USB ASP, again you can select between any of these, you can even do Arduino if you want USB ASP and select your frequency, um, mine's 8 megahertz, so I'd be using 8 and 6 zeros click next and save it anywhere you'd like, I'm saving it under desktop Now under tutorial you'd find this main.c file and here's where all your code goes. So you'd, um, you have these libraries already included, studio.h, standard input output, the avr input output, the interrupt and the delay from utilize, util. Um, basically uh, the former name for this was avr delay but now they use util. Now the make file is basically whatever compiles the code, um, you, sh you wouldn't want to touch this except you want to if you want to change your if you want to change the frequency the programmer or the chip name everything's in the start so you don't need to worry about that again the make file is very similar to the winavr make file on windows um, winavr make file template written by eric b weddington Jorg, wong Sh, et al now i make now once you're done checking out the make um, the make file you can run the code and this would even build it on your chip the first time you run the code it will give you an error because it will be building all the files into this folder called builds so if you go into the tutorial folder it, it must have created this new folder called builds now once builds is created um, if, if your chip is connected you can run it again and everything would be cool now right now my chip's not connected and I can't do it right now so I keep getting an error and the builds file would the builds folder would never be created Now to do it manually without Xcode, you'd require the make file. The download link is in the description. So, um, so let's just extract the make file. So basically, if you want to do it manually, you'd need to create a C file. So let's say I'm using the same C file. It's better to keep everything in a folder, otherwise every, your desktop would be clogged up. So new folder with selection and I'd call this tutorial manual. Now for this, um, first when you um, download the make file you need to set it up. Some basic things are like um, some basic things are like the MCU name. Um, again mine's at mega 16 as I copied it from the tutorial folder. You need to configure this AVR dude programmer. Then AVR dude port. Um, this is the base. This is basically that it's going to connect to the USB modem, which is again the USB. The format is IHEX, and target basically um, this is the your main.c's file name. So if I kept if I kept the file's name as something like um, uh, tutorial.c, the target would have to be tutorial. And as it says in the comment, you should you should you should do it without the extension. Now with all of this done, um, if you compare it with the Windows Windows make file, in that the debug would be dwarfed too. But over here you have to keep it stabs, do not change that, otherwise you'd, 
you'd end up with an error now these are these are basically the only things you have to set and the rest is up to you you can always read through the commands and check what everything does and of course even the uh, the fcpo is what you have to make sure um, just save this file and close it so now um, so in terminal now uh, navigate to the file navigate to the folder it's called tutorial manual and just write make all the first time you do this you get an error um, because it'd be creating all the files again like how it happens in Xcode so click make all now once you're on make all you'd have this new folder called builds um, and it will have this tutorial.e, tutorial.elf and this is all because that you set it to tutorial.c if this was main.c all of this would be main.e, main.elf, main.hex a hex file is uh, actually one of the most I would not say that but one of the most important files now the second time you run this once your chip is connected the program you ran in tutorial.c would burn to the would burn to the would burn to your Atma chip so that's for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.